Hello everybody, welcome to the Golden Goal Show, Extra Time. Rodney, give me a slight little beatbox or anything, because I know you are the most musically talented person that's came out of the music industry since Bob Marley. Come on, let's hear it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, let's keep going. I got it, ready? I'll jump in. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Shades and Rodney at the Golden Goal Show. We're serving up some facts and some news. You, okay, I almost said a bad word. <laughs> I will said a, a nice word. Okay, well, hey, everybody. Welcome to the Golden Girl Show. As you can Yippee. tell... What? I'm just happy. Okay, well, I'm glad you're happy because I am happy as well. And I'll introduce my guest today at the show, Rodney. How are you doing today with Eduardo Mendy from Chelsea FC? Mendy is doing good right now. He's just doing some rehab and he'll be back on the Chelsea squad soon. And your boy Rob out here... About one, two, three is chilling right now, having a good time in school. Ah, that's disgusting. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> God bless everybody over there in college. I mean, keep your strengths, everybody. Just use Quizlet and you'll be fine. <laughs> Pretty much. He's, pre he's preaching right now. And Control F as well, as I taught you, Ronnie. I hope you're still using oh, yeah. Control F. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Dude, that's actually saved me so many times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that, because I saved my life, too. Okay. Well, everybody, welcome to the Golden Show. No matter if you're at work, driving home from work, or you're in school, or you are just came out of your mom and you're a fetus, welcome. We welcome everybody. <laughs> and, of course, that we welcome. Do. Yes, the pets, as well as the pets. I know pets are listening. Shout out to the Rottweilers. Woo-woo. Okay. That's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's great. Okay, so let us move on to the beautiful league that is the best league in the world. Campion League. This is the champion. Okay, I'm going to stop singing. But yeah, it has been a great, great week for Champions League. It's. I'll just jump in and say Sevilla, Salzburg, 1 to 1. Sevilla with a red card. Lille and Wolfsburg, 0 to 0. Wolfsburg with a red card. Chelsea, Zinet. 1-0 for Chelsea. It was an interesting game, but let us – I'm just going to continue. Bayern and Barcelona, 7-0. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm 8-2. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm okay. Not, I'm, not okay. I'm not giving Let's flashbacks. Let's move on, please. 3-0 <laughs> for <laughs> – Young Boys and Manchester United, 2-1 for Young Boys. Manchester United with a red card. Oh, my gosh. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. <laughs> Villarreal and Atlanta, 2-2. Two two. Villarreal with a red card. Malmo and Juventus. 0 to 3 for Juventus, Dynamo Kiev and Benfica, 0 to 0. Biscates and Dortmund, 2 to 1 for Bis for Dortmund, excuse me. Oh. Inter Milan and Real Madrid, 1 to 0 for Real Madrid. Club Bruges and PSG, 1 to 1. <laughs> okay, yeah. continue. Man City and RB Leipzig, 6 to 3 for Man for Man City. Uh surprise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit much. And a red card for Leipzig. Sheriff and Shakhtar Donetsk. The, for the Ukrainians, Sheriff could... Wait, no. I am probably very wrong. Where is Sheriff from? No, Moldova. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. Moldova from Moldova. But good job, Sheriff. <laughs> Atletico Madrid and Porto. 0-0. Zero zero. Red card for Porto. Uh, Atletico Madrid is a little slacking the past week, but it's okay. They can jump on it. 3 to Liverpool and at Milano, three to two for Liverpool, and Sporting Lisbon and Ajax, five to one for Ajax. Oh my gosh! Okay, well, any games you want to talk about first? Because I can, I can talk. Well, um, can we just start off with the worst? The PSG versus Club uh, Brugge. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, um, I was as a Messi fan, I was expecting a little bit more, but you know, it's a new team, so I mean, yeah. I get that chemistry. chemistry. But it was kind of disappointing to see. Actually, it was kind of – it was disappointing, but yet it shows the spirit of football that not money always wins you games. Exactly. That's very true. That is very true. And I hope it will be like that for a long time. But we will see what Man City – Super up. League. Yes. Uh, I really hope that doesn't happen. Oh, my gosh. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> Messi, a little – I mean, I didn't – I watched part of the game, but a little lackluster. I mean – like I said, chemistry ain't there, so you can't really say much about that. Okay. Well, okay. let us move on to Barcelona and Bayern Munich. Ronnie. Uh, um, I just want to say... It isn't as bad. Depression. 
Uh, well, it's just going to take time for us to kind of build with our youth. We got Frankie DeJong doing well, and we use men to Billy and Ansu Fonti. We both, we're both injured. Yeah. And everyone's pretty much old now in Barcelona. So we, I've kind of accepted the fact that we're in a rebuilding stage. Yeah. But I think this experience is going to be needed for like Frankie DeJong or Dembele and Fati, so that way they, and Garcia too. Yeah. Um, so that way they can get a feel for at least this part of it and for, for later on. So when they do go to the finals, because we will, because we're Barcelona. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not bad as eight to two. I mean, they, they looked better. They looked like a better team, which is weird to say that without Messi. Right? Yeah. Because I feel, I feel, I think it was because the stress of like having Messi on there, because everyone knows he's the GOAT and they pretty much should be winning another Champions League with him on there. Yeah. Another Champions League trophy. But then that pressure is gone. And now you got Memphis Depay. Who is fairly good. He's been doing good yeah. for them. But and if he he could be the leader of their young uh, group that they have now too. Yeah, I really hope so because he's a great player for Lyon. And he's, I mean, Manchester United rejected him and they didn't want him. And I mean, I'm glad they brought they brought him experience. But they did bring Luke De Jong. Did you hear about that? The transfer. <laughs> I heard about part. part wait, isn't it like old man Luke De Jong? Yes, it is old man Luke De Jong. Like the the striker, right? If I remember from, from PSV, they brought him in from PSV, I believe. I, I just think that. I don't get that. I, at all. We already have Lord Braithwaite, so I don't know why we have to. Have like, but he's going to be injured for the next like six months. Really? Oh my gosh! Yeah, he got injured in practice and will not be coming back for a while. <laughs> oh, so, oh, um, rest in peace. Lucky. Yep. Okay. Oh. Okay. So Chelsea and Zenit one to zero for Chelsea. I mean. Chelsea, I mean, Lukaku with a beautiful cross by Aspilicueta. But, I mean, Chelsea, they had some troublesome moments that game. And they should have scored at least a little more. But it's it's a start to the Champions League. I mean, they just needed a win. And they are playing Juventus in next, not this coming week, but in the week after that. They're playing Juventus, and that should be a good game. But then again, Juventus lacking without Ronaldo. But then again, they don't have to – the same thing with PSG. And Barcelona right now. Once you it's have the pressure, a, yeah, the pressure. If you don't have a goat, then you don't have to always pass to him and make try to make him look good. So, either you you do good in some games, and then you don't do good in some games. And Juventus, they've been all right in Syria. I mean, not the best they should be doing, but I mean, three zero. That's solid, solid. But then again, it's right. a team from Sweden that you would think they should beat. So. Yeah, good, good for them. Good for, good, good for them. <laughs> and also, uh, young boys and Manchester United. Oh my! Yes, gosh. thank the Lord that happened. Nah, we're neutral, and I'm gonna say, young boys, <laughs> good job to them. Switzerland did, did you well, and Ronaldo did score a goal. Of course, I mean, beautiful assist by Bruno Fernandez. I, I think, I yes, I think that was it. Oh yeah. And then in the last embers of the game, last embers of the game, with an American striker. Scoring a goal. It was crazy. The scenes were unbelievable, especially in, in Zurich over there. And Ooh, that is not Zurich. I am so sorry, it, especially in Switzerland <laughs> over there. It was a great game, great game to follow. So, I mean, <laughs> Man City and Leipzig. Oy, oy, oy. What can we say about that game? Man City. Just, just, uh, yeah, you can you can say something. <laughs> no, it's just, Kate, it's just Katie B, Mara. It's just. That whole team is insane up front. Yeah. It just even with, with no striker, they're just lethal. I just, yeah. There's nothing else to really say about them. It's, just, it's magical. Yeah. I mean, then again, one of the best players of the game was on the other team, Christopher Nkuku, with three goals, a hat trick. Uh, uh, he, I mean, this guy's an amazing attacking midfielder. I hope he gets picked up by a bigger – I hope not Bayern, but I hope he gets picked up by another team as well too because he's such a great talent. I, I always use him in my starting for Bundesliga, the foot ultimate team. So He's a very underrated attacking forward that not many people know about. Yeah, he is a very great player. But uh, – alas. Going to Bayern. Yeah, alas, he might go to Bayern, but I – Hope not. Anyways, of course, Dortmund and Biscates, Holland scoring, and for Dortmund, what do you expect else? I mean, it's the they're playing Biscates, so Jude Bellingham and Erling Holland scoring as well, and Liverpool and Etienne Milano, which was a great game actually. 
Vicky Otomore oh, yeah. scoring a goal, a fellow blue. But then again, it was an own goal, so uh, yikes! Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, that that does not help. Yeah. But Van, but the return of Van Dyke yeah. is helping Liverpool <laughs> tremendously. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. I hate to say it so much, but yeah, it's it is true. It is true. Van Dyke is helping, and he's gonna be, of course, really good for them. I mean, it's Van Dyke. What, what else can you say? Okay, and then Ajax and Sporting Lisbon, Sebastian Halle, a fellow. Frank Antak Frankfurt player scoring four goals this this past week. Four goals and Palinio scoring one for Sporting Lisbon. But oh my gosh, four four goals. He scored in the second minute, ninth minute, fifty one minute, and sixty third for Ajax. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's yeah, he was just all over the place on this. He just taking every opportunity. Absolutely. He was absolutely mental like, fun. Yeah, I mean he he basically Sebastian Hadler, this guy who is from France he was born in Ivory Coast, though, but he basically took every chance he had. So he had, like, I think five shots on goal, and he's, when he got the ball, he just shot it. I mean, what else are you supposed to do as a striker instead of just pass her or maybe try to dribble around? No, he just shot it, like, when he got the chance. He, he mm-hmm. took notes from Michael Jordan. He took it personally. Exactly. There we go. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, that was Champions League. This. Do you want to talk about any other game, or you, you round it up? Um, I think that's, that's, that's pretty much rounded up. Yeah, okay. Well, that was basically the Champions League, the beautiful league. Let us move on to our favorite segment of the week. Football memes of for I mean, football memes of the week. Brought to you by Troll Football and Football Memes for the Lads. Harry Kane, you are so beautiful. I want to give you a peck on the cheek. Okay, but let us move on. Chef's kiss. What would you rather, Ronnie, honestly be honest? Let's okay, so you just won mm-hmm. a McDonald's card that came with your Big Mac. What are you gonna pick? That came like a little ticket. Man City tickets or a double cheeseburger? Man City tickets. <laughs> I'm going to sell the tickets later. Right, and, get more, <laughs> and get more cheeseburgers? or Exactly. But then I'm again, not a Man City supporter. Yeah, but alas, what can Man City tickets give you these days? Probably like a Snickers bar. So I, I honestly would take the double cheeseburger because they're giving these they're giving these things away like 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 ugh, like <laughs> you can have some money you can have some everyone can have some money they're being nice with these like they're selling the tickets i mean jokes aside like you know it's a joke that they have no fans of stuff and that they just give tickets away sometimes i mean a lot of the times but mm. uh, they sell their tickets for a very low very very low like maybe like 20 quid or like 50 no quid. way yeah yeah i actually did not so i could I could get a flight to Man City right now and buy a Man City ticket game for thirty dollars. They'll pay for your flight. They'll pay for your ticket and your flight. <laughs> <laughs> they are desperate, desperate. Oh, I mean, and they're rich, so oil money. That is how it is. Oil money. Yeah. Okay. Let us see the next. I mean, everybody out there, I'm sure you're gonna in the comments say double cheeseburger because I would definitely do double cheeseburger. Okay. So, Emil Husky, the final meme, Ronnie. This is unbelievable. I I I didn't believe this, but. Look what BR football posted. Chelsea Liverpool last five Premier League uh, matches. Wow. Yep. Exactly the same scores. Exactly. Wow. The same scores. Glitch in the matrix. It is a glitch. And but then again, if you look a little thing to see why Chelsea are the European champions, look at the teams that they have placed. Chelsea play Crystal Palace, Arsenal, Liverpool, Austin Villa, and Tottenham. Liverpool, Norwich City, Burnley, Leeds United, Crystal Palace. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a bit different, but it's a pretty lopsided schedule. Yeah, it is. It is. But then again, it's crazy. It is crazy how they oh um, like how they both have the same scores. And it might continue like this. You never know. You never know. And the fact that the only reason why Chelsea's at the top of the table and not Liverpool is because it was an away game at, yep. at Liverpool, so is that's it? why Chelsea's first in the Premier League. Is that really why it is? Yeah, that's literally the only reason why they're at top of the table is because of that at the moment. It, it hasn't oh. happened in 70 years, I think. That's crazy. I, mean, I thought it was just because Chelsea has the first letter of the first, like, closer to the alphabet, so. Oh. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. That'd be, that'd be a cool way to do it, though. Yep. Okay, well, that, that that's interesting. Yeah, okay, well. 
Do you have anything else to say about the show? This lovely show that came from the depths of Football the is life. It is life. It is beautifully life. Okay, well, there are some Champions League games that are coming up. Not this week, but next week. And there will be some interesting games. But alas, that's another episode. Okay. Thank you guys for watching the Golden Goose Show, Ronnie. Thank you for joining, of course. And Mendy, I know you're silent over there. The silent king from Senegal. Thank you for being... Oof. Wait, wait, wait. My pleasure. Thank you for letting Keppa play. I mean, Keppa got a clean sheet. God bless him. Yeah, I, I had to give him a little bit of confidence. Huh? He was looking a little bit sad back there. So I was like, you know what, fam? Here you go. Confidence. He Magical did. confidence. He did do good for Chelsea. He did. He did. He did. A one-on-one I, with Son. He saved that. Oh, my gosh. I'm, was... I'm happy for Keppa. If he can just keep on, even as a backup keeper, keep on keeping this kind of confidence, he can maybe do, go somewhere good. The most expensive backup keeper ever, seventy million. <laughs> uh, my heart. <laughs> I know, it's okay. Roman Abramovich has money. It's okay. We're good. Oh, I, actually, he, as much as he spent, it's, he's actually had um, more money in the transfer windows. No, he's know, had a surplus of money. That's not because of Roman. That's because of the goddess, Marina. Oh, what? Marina. God. 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 Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, enough about lovely woman. Okay, so thank you guys for watching the show. Like, subscribe, like. I said like again. Why do I keep saying like? Uh, it's an awesome else. word. I do not know. I need to look it up after this because it's probably still bad. Okay, like, subscribe, and share, please, because sharing gives us the Champions League anthem, and when the Champions League anthem, men will cry, and when men will cry, <laughs> men will not understand, but it's okay. Hey, I get you guys out there. I feel you. Lovely. Okay. So thank you guys for watching the show. And as we say at the Golden Goal Show in three, two, one, one, love football. Love football. Lovely. Thank you guys. And bye. Bye.